It's Emma Vigling with TYT Politics here with the one and only Jordan Sheridan, back from Flint, Michigan, where he did his famous town hall, infamous to Rick Snyder and the cronies there in, in, in Michigan. But uh, it was really phenomenal. You guys should go check it out on the Young Turks Facebook page, and we'll be putting up uh, videos uh, and snippets of it uh, as we go along today. We wanted to talk a little bit about the Flint Town Hall, and you wanted to break it down, what happened, what were the major things that you discussed. So we're here in the lovely Facebook studios to do just that. Uh, Jordan, do you have any opening thoughts on your experience in Flint? Uh, yeah, I'll get, to, I'll get to the town hall, but I'm assuming CNN and them haven't been discussing this today. So just to inform you, uh, in addition to the, the about a year and a half that the city of Flint, the state of Michigan, was telling residents there's nothing wrong with your water, you know, flush it out, uh, they've also now been dis saying for the last year or two, your water is safe to drink uh, if you put a filter on the water. And there's been uh, scientists, water experts who have said that's, that's not a foolproof plan, neither for lead, but for bacteria and other things. So uh, yesterday, uh, the Genesee County uh, government issued a press release. I'm not going to read the whole thing. But here, here's, here's Genesee County, uh, Flint is within Genesee County. And here's the crux of it. Uh, the Genesee County Medical Society is updating our recommendations on the use of Flint municipal water. Uh, while filters do remove lead, solving one problem, they also remove chlorine, a chemical that is normally added to kill germs in drinking water. Data supports decreasing lead levels in Flint municipal water. I don't exactly agree with that. Uh, when levels were high in the tested samples, filters which were properly maintained, did not allow lead levels above the EPA action level of 15 parts per billion. This is the lead level for which a formal response is triggered if more than 10% of homes are measured uh, or above this number, although all acknowledge that no level of lead is considered safe. Um, further, in, in order for Flint municipal water to be safe, the filter system must be used correctly at all times, with the filter changed as instructed and never left beyond its recommended uh, date of use. Uh, bottom line, getting to the crux of it, they are now saying uh, filters are not foolproof to eliminate legion Legionella and other infectious illnesses or individu for individuals, adults, and children. Uh, they do not, uh, they do not uh, totally solve if, check with your physician if you're uncertain uh, for chronic kidney or liver disease, including end-stage organ disease. Uh, diabetes uh, mel mellitus, chronic lung disease, uh, solid, solid organ or hematolic malignancy such as cancer, leukemia, lymphoma, sarcoma, immune system disorders such as HIV and AIDS. In summary, the Genesee County Medical Society is making the following recommendations. For those who are at most risk for the negative effects of lead on the brain, children less than six years old and, preg and pregnant women, we recommend using bottled water purified by reverse osmosis. Additionally, people who are in the high risk groups for Legionella and other germs that can overwhelm weak immune systems should continue using only bottled water. So what that means, and wa water experts have been saying this for the last year and a half, filters are fairly good in stopping lead. Unfortunately, filters go bad relatively quickly. Um, they send out pamphlets in how to put filter. There's not like EPA officials or state officials going house by house attaching your filter. Uh, so it's not an exact science, but it kind of robbed Peter to pay Paul. Uh, it's not stopping bacteria and other items, which water experts like Scott Smith, who I've worked with, have been huffing and puffing for years. And just now, uh, they're saying this. So it kind of goes back to the town hall on Tuesday, which, I mean, it, it really only took you five, ten minutes to realize this is still a crisis, even though it's not covered as such. There's people still with ongoing health issues. There's still people still not getting any assistance with Medicaid, Medicare for their health issues, which were brought on, obviously, by gross negligence of the government. Uh, there are people facing forced water, sh water shutoffs next week, uh, in addition to possible evictions from their homes for unpaid water bills, for water you still can't drink. And even more scary, if you're looking at this, I mean, this is government press release mumbo jumbo, but the bottom line is they've been saying it's safe to drink with a filter for the last year and a half. And it's not safe to drink with a filter. It doesn't stop bacteria. Uh, and you know what? They could say for people with poor immune systems, well, you know, what does that mean? You know, like for, for lead, for example, if you 
they say the allowable limit is 15 parts per billion. Well, Emma, a young, spry, beautiful young lady, could have 15 parts per billion and be fine. Myself, I have sleep problems, other things. I, have, I could have seven parts per billion, which is under the allowable limit, and my immune system can go into hell. Uh, same thing with uh, bacteria and other things. So I really think the main thing is you, people don't know what's in their water in Flint. And although there's a settlement now that they're going to replace 18,000 lead pipes by 2020, uh, if, if you talk to people in Flint, that's not soon enough. I mean, people literally, nosebleeds, migraines, people are seeing uh, liver spot, uh, spots on their liver, cancers. This is ongoing. Um, and the governor of Michigan has fought tooth and nail not to pay for home, home water delivery, uh, not, not to try and assist with expanded Medicaid, Medicare, um, and people, quite honestly, are dying. And it was very evident. Uh, they were very grateful that we did this the other night. And uh, I'm going to keep covering it because it's an ongoing health crisis. And unfortunately, the media likes to talk about, like, we shouldn't normalize Trump. We shouldn't normalize health, like, you know, health debacles brought on by the government. Go down there, you know, Rachel Maddow and these fine folks go down there for five minutes, credit to you, and then forget about it and move on to Russia. Because if you think Flint is so far from you, it's not. I mean, Reuters reported there's over 3,000 cities with uh, high or double to Flint lead levels, and now you're seeing bacteri bacteria issues across the country. So I encourage you, uh, it's on the Young Turks Facebook page, the whole thing. Uh, we're putting up clips on uh, youtube.com slash tytpolitics. Two are up already this morning, and uh, I'll keep reporting on it. Yeah, um, I think it's a nationwide infrastructure problem. That's the thing about it, is that it's not sexy to replace pipes, and it's not sexy to actually go for infrastructure projects that don't enrich you know contractors which is really what trump's billion and billion and billion dollar uh, infrastructure plan is going to do that that's been broken down wonderfully by the washington post um, it's not what actually gets headlines and grabs headlines oh high speed rail but it's actually affecting many people throughout the country. You did great reporting in East Chicago, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. It doesn't stop with Flint. It's low-income areas throughout the country, and it's not just low-income areas. Maybe when it starts affecting people, and again, like in this lovely neighborhood in New York City, then people will start paying attention because when it affects poor people in this country, it is going to spread. Water isn't just contained to impoverished areas in, the, in America. It's throughout. These water systems are statewide or countywide, townwide. They're national, and it's it's a crisis that's going to keep on going until someone adequately addresses it. Rick Snyder doesn't seem to be that kind of person, like the most insufferable person of all time. His Twitter handle is one tough nerd, and I I don't know why that bugs me so much. It's not clever. You're just an asshole. But also, real quick, I mean, this is a bipartisan issue. I mean, all this happened under President Obama, and the EPA kind of sat on its hands and said, all right, well, the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality, uh, they are, they, they're dealing with it. We'll give them suggestions. But the EPA didn't, the EPA did have concerns about them switching the water. They told the, the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality, you need to add corrosive controls. The Michigan uh, Environmental Department said, no, we don't think we do, and we know what happened. But bottom line, uh, whether it's Flint, East Chicago, elsewhere, People in Flint, it's not safe to drink uh, with your filter. I might not be a scientist to say that, but the county, Genesee County, just came out <laughs> saying basically use bottled water if A, B, A, B, C, and D. But if I had kids, I, I wouldn't particularly feel safe with that. So that is, uh, a, I would say, a very, very big crisis. If you've been told for a year and a half you're fine if you drink uh, with a filter, this isn't even to mention the very, very uh, ambiguous question mark of whether it's safe to shower and bathe, which there is no safety standards for that. The EPA just says, well, we don't have uh, an exact measurement for how much is too much in a shower or bath. And people I talk to in Flint are literally, as they shower, uh, having severe eye, eye, eye pain, uh, ears, uh, you know, can't breathe in the shower. And that's now. That's not two years ago. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep reporting on it. Uh, Rose says, take the border wall money to fix everyone's pipes, fix infrastructure or of water pipes instead of oil pipes. I'm here with you, Rose, um, but that doesn't seem to be a high priority for the Trump administration. It's more just like crony capitalism and helping your donors uh, by the, filling the swamp as opposed to draining it uh, or, or filling it with oil as opposed to, you know, taking the actual contaminants out of people's pipes. 
protecting the citizens isn't at the top of the list of priorities for Trump. It's just creating boogeymen like uh, Muslims and minorities as opposed to actually addressing real issues. So I'm with you, Rose.